fellow humans, Master Darren Flex here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve. And today, I think I've only done this a few times, where I've done like immediate follow ups to videos I've already made about one specific deck. But the only other two times I know I've done something similar is with Fire Fist and Agents. And the reason I do them is because sometimes. Making one video about what the deck's capable of does not do it justice. And in the case of Fire Fist and Agents, even when they got their new support, it was at least an upgrade to the decks that already existed. Fire Fist was already capable of a lot of crazy loops. The problem was it was just very slow and meandering about it, and the playstyle didn't actually support that kind of strategy. So you were just looping resources over and over again, and the new combos took advantage of that directly. And in the case of Agents, it was more just like they didn't have enough good names for much of anything to matter. It was literally Venus, and then Earth only mattered because it searched Venus. So, in both of those examples, they were at least direct upgrades to the decks, but this support is very different because not only is it a direct support to these decks, it actually properly finishes their own playstyle. So I said this in the last video and I will say it again, Teller Knights did not, were not a trap deck because that was the best way to play the deck. It was because it was the only way to play the deck. If you just straight up look at their cards, nothing at all would ever tell you that you're trying to set five until you realize how few of them there are. That was the problem. When your deck is on 10 playable monsters, it, it's more of a demonstration that like the deck itself isn't complete. And that was just the case the whole time. Teller Knights want to summon every turn. They want to trigger their effect every single turn, every single way. But having this Altier Deneb loop wasn't actually good. And it was a very terrible way to approach this kind of playstyle. And Konami has learned from this over time because Duelist Alliance was very experimental for its time. I don't think people give uh, credit for that. And Teller Knights, while they were competitive for a small amount of time, they were quickly power crept by a trap deck that was just slightly better than it, that was Clee Fort. And it just fell into obscurity, even though this deck has the only hit this deck has ever had is Rota going to one, which was not a hit to Teller Knights. It just was a card that needed to go to one. So, now that that rant's over, I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed in the support because it doesn't support their supposed playstyle, but in reality, that wasn't their playstyle to begin with. However, I will give credit that not it's not guaranteed that the best approach to this deck is... Uh, Wombo Combo Spam, but at the same time, the best approach obviously isn't to Neb Set 4 either, because if that was good to do with this support, it would have already been good, which it wasn't. So, that's one of the things I do want to demonstrate with this. So, this first step is going to be incredibly simple, and the reason I'm demonstrating this is to show you how resistant this deck can be to just, like, playing slowly and casually and simply and how much it can do with that. So for this demonstration, let's just go a monster that summons itself that creates a level four and one of those uh, level fours is Unakali. So this is another thing about this uh, support that I feel like should get mentioned as well. Unakali had no function in its actual deck. Nothing it did at all was... Uh, useful to its archetype. You just had to hard draw a sky bridge or call the haunted with it. Otherwise, this card literally had no effect. Um, so this is why it's really nice because this card got support due to Altea, meaning its effect to dump a Teller Knight actually matters at all. Um, and finally, for this combo, as simple as it was to set up, we're going to have a level four, use Unicolite to dump Altea, and then we're going to end on Tomias. This is summon three, and during the end phase, it'll just attach a Teller Knight, and we can go with Batlamus. Now, you might be thinking, how is this a combo? 
Well, basically, if you're not confident in the deck's ability to combo, which I don't think is entirely correct. I don't, I can understand like being scared of like five hand trap hands, but realistically hand traps have not only fallen out of favor, but like become completely worthless over time. Most hand traps kind of suck unless they're engine or they don't pay themselves like uh, what the biz deals do. Otherwise it's just crap. Um, but with this setup, what do we have? In three summons, we have three disruptions because let's go into our opponent's turn and they're playing a dark graveyard deck, which is one in every two decks. We will detach three to make it diamond. And now they can't mill. But more importantly, in a new chain, Altea triggers to summon itself. And on summon, we can target cards on the field up to the number of lighter dark XZs we control, destroy them. But let's say we're not going against a dark deck. We can instead go for Pallades do the same thing with Altea, but instead of using uh, establishing a Floodgate, we also get a bounce on top of that, which two cards for two disruptions from two cards and three summons is actually quite impressive. Um, the reason it's so impressive is because you get to establish multiple disruptions with really like no real commitment. So even if you wanted to play this set five strategy, you, you have three back row to go with it. But again, I don't find this play cell particularly great anymore. So for this next demonstration, I want to show off something a little different, and that's going to be Dark Ruler Resistance to a board. Now for this next demonstration, it's going to be a lot more simple. Uh, we are, we're not going to go the full is old combo whatnot, but I want to show off what you can do as a way to prevent Dark Ruler from just ruining your day. So we're gonna start off, what we need is whatever. There are multiple hands that can establish this, but what we want to have is Skybridge, which means we need Lyra access. It doesn't even mean it needs to be in our opening hand, but whatever, we com whatever combo we decide to do, we need to have access to Skybridge before it's all over. So, we special summon Thrasher, normal summon Lyra. Lyra on summon will go ahead and search a Teller Knight Speller Trap, which we will search Skybridge. Then we will overlay these two level fours into, of course, Cadaceous. Uh, we have nothing to recycle, so we're going to go ahead and detach the Lyra, and we're going to banish a Sheraton from our deck, which allows us to copy its effect on summon, so we will add Cadaceous. Since we control a Constellar monster, we can special summon Cadaceous, and then during the main phase we can activate this effect. We can go ahead and turn Cadaceous into a search for a Constellar Speller Trap, which guess what? This is both of those. So you can search this card with Lyra or Cadaceous, and Cadaceous is really nice because if you use Sherrod, let's say you don't have to use Sheraton to establish the XE uh, Sheraton, you can just use it as an extender that also gets a Speller Trap. Now we will activate Teller Knight Constellar to summon back Lyra, and then we will turn the Cadaceous into M7 and then use uh, the spell to turn it into Deltros. Now, I don't want to go any further like in the Azul route, but we are going to pop Deltros with its own effect, and that will allow us to go ahead and summon Altier and with that, we can go into... We'll summon back the Deltros. Now, I know I said that there's not a lot of reason to do that. But what I'm going to do instead... When the Altier... Nah. What I'm going to do instead is... I'm going to Skybridge back the Lyra. And with that, we're going to summon Unicali and it's going to dump the Altea, which is another part of this combo we need. So, we can only summon Teller Knights from the extra deck, so we are going to turn the Unicali, which is locking us, and the Cadaceous into another copy of Cadaceous XC. And with this one, since we didn't activate its uh, on summon effect prior, we can do it now, and we're going to recycle a Teller Knight and Constellar monster. So the first one goes back in the extra deck, and then Altea will trigger, and then we can go ahead and do this. Then we will overlay these two into, of course, Tolmaius. 
And then in the end phase, we can go ahead and attach one, which will be the Batlamus. And we are going to set Skybridge before we get to our end phase. Now, you might be thinking, how is this a Dark Ruler resistant board? Now, the thing I want to say right here is this is not what I consider an end board. This is just a demonstration of if you want to go for a Dark Ruler resistant play, you will still go into his old or whatever links you want to, but I want to show off what happens if something kind of goes wrong. Like, if you're expecting Dark Ruler, set up a board like this, including whatever link plays you're going to go into. And the reason I say what is like this is that when our opponent Dark Rulers us, let's say immediately. Oh, uh, okay, so they turned off Tolmaya, so it can't do anything, and they're going to go ahead and start playing. We can still legally activate Tolmaeus, its effects are just negated. So they're like, okay, then we're going to activate Skybridge. And we're going to target Tolmaeus, or we can do Deltros. Deltros is better to leave face up. We will go ahead and summon a Teller Knight from our deck. And then put Tolmaeus back in extra deck. And then Chainlink 1 will be Deneb, and Chainlink 2 will be Altea. Altea will summon itself, and then Deneb will get a search for Altier. And then Altea will trigger, again, we got Dark Rulered, to target two cards our opponent controls and destroy them, because we have two lighter dark XCs. This is a demonstration I want to go over. Ignoring all the links and extra plays you will go into, what you want to do is when you have Skybridge access, keep in mind you want to end on a board that has at least one to two XCs and more importantly, a Teller Knight that can be shuffled back with Skybridge. And then you can go ahead and pop, even though you got Dark Ruler. That's kind of the demonstration I wanted to show off, that even if you Dark Ruler the deck, there's like ways to still disrupt your opponent. This is the demonstration. I didn't go all out just because I wanted to show it in its simple form. But now let's go into the last demonstration I want to show off. Now for this final demonstration, I decided I'm going to draw an above average hand. Not the best possible hand, but above average hand. And then just demonstrate it. The reason I like to do these sometimes is I want to show the highest possible ceiling. Because, yes, while it is sometimes I do like to show an extravagant nonsensical combo, what I also like to do is I want to put it, I want to put a high roll hand in a realistic scenario where I'm not pivoting from like one deck to another and obviously making a table 500 replay. I want to show something a little more realistic to what you can actually do with these cards and play them to their full realistic potential. And that's what I'm going to do right here. So we're going to start off Ascended Sage because it's into a free body. Normal Deneb, Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, Lyra. Deneb will resolve and we will search Altier. And then, of course, Lyra will search a Teller Knight Speller Trap. Now, one of the interesting things about this is uh, I actually didn't need to draw a Conceller. So I guess uh, I totally blinked on what this card is. This is probably one of the best hands you can draw in the deck. Uh, so I guess that doesn't matter that much. And we are going to use Skybridge. And we will turn Deneb into... Una Kali, which will dump Altea. And then, of course, we will overlay these two. We'll leave a Teller Knight up. And we are going to go into Cadaceus. And Cadaceus on summon will recycle the Sky Bridge. As the earlier demonstration showed, this is basically a way of having a Dark Ruler resistant board. So now, we're going to detach a material and banish a Cancellar or Teller Knight from our deck and apply its effect. That would trigger on a normal summon, which for that is, uh, Sheraton is a search, which we will search. That's way too many letters. So we will activate Constellar Teller Knight, which will allow us to special summon Constellar Zucchini. And on summon Zucchini can, of course, search Cadaceus. We will go ahead and search Cadaceus, and then we can summon the Cadaceus. And then activate the Cadaceus to search a Teller Knight Constellar for the following turn. Now, 
We are going to turn the Cadaceous XC into M7, and then Teller Knight Constellar will, of course, turn it into Deltros. And now this is where it gets a little interesting, because I drew Galaxy Soldier, which is one of the cards that puts his hand over the edge, honestly. So what we are going to do, I'm going to go ahead and overlay these two level fours into Galaxy Photon Dragon. I'm going to detach a material and I'm going to search a monster that is literally just a light. And for this case, I will search Photon Thrasher. I will go ahead, discard the Photon Thrasher to special summon Galaxy Soldier, and on summon Galaxy Soldier, we'll search another Galaxy Soldier. And then we'll overlay these two level 5 machines into Nova Infinity. Yay! And now, I will go ahead, detach a material, target the Deltros, pop it. Deltros will trigger when sent to from field to graveyard. Special Summon Vega, Special Summon Altier, and Altier will Special Summon the Deltaros, as you can see. Now, we will link these two away into Azold, and Azold will go ahead, Chain Link 2, and Chain Link 1 will be Deltaros. Azold's going to add an Altier for the follow-up, since we're fully done with it. And then we're going to summon it to Neb. Yeah, we've used this effect before, but it's about seeing more names now. And as old, it's going to trigger afterwards, and we're going to send Living Fossil to special summon Knuckle Sword. Knuckle Sword can target Vega or uh, Deneb, doesn't matter, but we're going to turn it into level 1 so we can make the Heroic Champion. Now, this is another cool thing about this that I do want to mention is, well, this is very cool. Another way you could do it is the exact opposite approach where you can turn Knuckle Sword into a level four, so you have two level fours, and you can just alternatively go into anything else. I feel like I'd never mention that. This can make itself level one or level four. The reason I like having this over, say, like Gaga Ga Gaga Gaga Ga Ga Magician is uh, this one like will buff itself to 32 when you revive Deltro, so that can help you go for game way easier. So we'll detach these two, summon the Deltros, and now we will link these three away into Apollosa. One, two, three. And then the Deltaros will trigger. And we will attempt to see another name, which uh, let's go into Lyra. We've already triggered it. So let's count how many names we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we only have six. So that means we're going to overlay these two into Tolmaya, since we don't have the full seven. And uh, what's going to happen, I forgot to do this, is Altea is going to trigger. So we're actually going to uh, leave the Deneb up. So we'll overlay with these two and leave the Deneb up. And then... We will go ahead and set the sky bridge, and during the end phase, Tolmaius will attach a Teller Knight, which will attach Batlamus, and we will leave it as is. So let's take a look at this board. We have the Tolmaius, which is obviously going to turn itself into either a Floodgate or a Pallades, whichever one is better. We have two methods of follow-up with Altier and a follow-up uh, Teller Knight Constellar, and... We have the Infinity Omni Negate, but even if they Dark Ruler this board right now, before we decide to activate Tolmaius, we can still legally attempt to activate Tolmaius. It'll just be negated. And then afterwards, we will go ahead and Skybridge, turn the Nadab into, let's see, a Sirius. Sirius will target five of our Teller Knights, but in response, Altea will summon itself to target this. And then... We will shuffle five back. One, two, three, four, five. Get a fresh draw. And then in a new chain, Altair will trigger under this Dark Ruler, by the way, to pop three cards on the board. So, uh, hey, that's pretty good. Now, this is really, really cool. I really like this a lot because if you think about it, this board 
interacts heavily with the three ways your opponent could like respond to your board outside of like multiple blowouts because if they're playing a monster heavy deck you got Apollosa, Pallades, uh, Diamond, Infinity so there's just too many negates for the monster to keep up with. If they're spell heavy they'll like need a bunch of responses and negations which not only can Infinity deal with one of them and Pallades is like a good way to interact with these uh, slower mid-range decks but even then that's when the pop with Altea comes up as well and then finally, trap decks like to set their entire hand against you and want you to respond to it directly. But during the end phase, you can just turn Ptolemaeus into Pallades to not only bounce one of the back row, but you're also going to pop three of them. So even if they set five, on their d on back to your turn, they're going to have one set, which Infinity can negate. So, I love this setup. It actually interacts so well based on the opponent i really like this uh, but yep yeah, that's about it thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you uh, you uh you uh you didn't notice that this was really just a test to see how my new mic works but yep yeah, that's about it thank you all for watching and remember master dinner flax will take your soul